Happy New Year's Eve! How is everyone? Oh my goodness. Can you believe this year is nearly over? So excuse the state of me. I've just got out the shower. Well, not just, but my hair's still wet. I'm one of these people that I just, I'd never dry my hair. <laughs> I just always let it dry naturally. Oh my goodness. Nearly the end of the year. I can't believe it. I really can't. How was everyone's Christmas? How, what did you all get up to? I really hope it went well, whatever you done. Um, I'm sorry I didn't vlog much. Um, it was a, it was a really weird time for me. I, like I said in a previous video, I didn't really take well to Boris's announcement of um, not being able to really, um, well, not being able at all to see any of my family. So, um, <laughs> sorry Oliver needed his lookout tower from Paw Patrol. So I had to go and get that for him. But yeah, so sorry I didn't feel much. Like I said, I don't know what Barney's looking at over there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was just a really weird time. And I wasn't in the best mindset. I had a great Christmas, don't get me wrong. I had such an amazing Christmas. And I hear actually a lot of people have said they enjoyed having a quiet Christmas for once. Like it was relaxing. Normally you're constantly on a time. Like, oh, we've got this time to open presents, this time to get ready, we're going to see this person at this time, or we've got this person coming around at this time. And you're constantly looking at the time and oh, I've got to have dinner ready by this time. And you want to schedule, whereas this year it was, would we feel like it? Well, don't we feel like it? I mean, Oliver's still got two presents to open. Um, from Santa. He told me that one is a pot of slime and one is a giant gold coin. But, you know, it's just that there was no... We, when we were hungry, we thought, okay, you know, we're starting to get a bit hungry now, so we'll start... Um, Oh, thank you so much. Just been given a Paw Patrol tin. How lucky am I? Um, he's got the craziest hair right now. Um, yeah. Yes, yeah, so it was actually really relaxing, and just a really nice day. Obviously, I'd rather have been with my family, but it was nice having that relaxing time. And I think a lot of people have said that. So I'm trying to open this tin one-handed, and it's. Oh, there we go. So I will insert, um, after I finish talking, um, a few clips of Christmas and just Christmas morning. Him coming down to see what Santa left. Just in case anyone is interested and wants to see. Um, yeah, so I thought I need to stop. Not feeling sorry for myself, they're kind of the wrong words. But, you know, at least through January, maybe longer, I assume, I'm, you know, my town's gonna be in a tier four. So I just need to make the most of it. I've sort of done my feeling sorry for myself. Although the last couple of days, Oliver's been really ill. Yesterday, he was just in so much pain. He was just so hot, he was just screaming screaming like you know when cowpaw just doesn't kick in quick enough he was just screaming but he seems a lot better today thank goodness and he hasn't he's barely eaten like he doesn't eat much anyway but the last couple of days he has probably eaten the icing off two cakes i don't know if you'll like um after eights Don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just throwing it on the floor, yeah. I thought that'd pretty much be the reaction. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's probably eating the icing off two cakes. So, but he's eaten a lot today. Like he's been scavenging for everything, which is a sign he's feeling better. So fingers crossed, he's gonna be a lot better today. He's got chocolate around his mouth. But, um, so yeah, um, sorry, like I said, for not really uploading much. I was just in a weird place mentally and I couldn't think of what to film or what to do. So I just thought it's best to just do nothing until I sort my headspace out. And then, like I said, Oliver's not been well. You can do it. You can do it. So, um, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm back on it. We're gonna do well. I've got so much planned for, I just wanted me to play with this. Um, I've got so much planned for the next month, at least. I was going to do a taking the decorations down with me and a toy sort out, but I don't know if everyone is kind of the same who puts their decorations up early. But my favourite part about Christmas is the lead up. I love the lead up to Christmas. So we put the decorations up beginning to mid-November. Uh, because the build up for me is just what makes it so magical and just so exciting. And then as soon as Christmas is over, I feel a bit, oh, you know, it's over now. And then with so many new toys... Everywhere just looked a complete mess. So it was, they need to come down. So we've taken everything down now. Um, I'm still trying to, Barney, Barney, no. So he's after all of his after eight. Um, so yeah, um, I sorted out some toys yesterday. We took all the decorations down um, the day before yesterday. I said Oliver was in a lot of pain, so we didn't actually get much done. He was just sitting on the sofa, um, watching telly really, and kept falling asleep. But I managed to sort out his toys in the dining room, so I know now what's going upstairs and what's staying down here. And there's still some stuff on the dining room table that I'm not sure where it's going. And there's a pile of toys over by the TV that staying in here but I don't know where so <laughs> you're having a dance are you excited because Santa's come look at everything he's left you <laughs> You're excited. They're all yours, but we can't open those ones yet, darling. You need to film it. Yes, we do. You've gone straight for Auntie Jen's one, haven't you? Darling, we'll film these ones later. But, come over here. Oliver, come over here. Come over here. What's in here? Oh. Here we go, Oliver. Should we open this? Let's untie all of his sacks. Oh. Wow, he tied these really well. Should we open it? Do you think we should open it? Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah? You wanna go for this one? Oh done, these are all for you. How lucky. <laughs> it's also has also left the key and drank his cherry aid. What have you got? What have you got, Oliver? Come over here. Oliver, you're not going to finish opening it. Come here, what about the rest? To it, like this. That's it. Yeah, come on. No, you wouldn't have seen that tablet and we've been fine. Yeah. I know. Is it cool? Is it this? Oh, you've got snow on your hands. Wow, what's your first present for Father Christmas? If I can open it. Zuma! You got Zuma! Wow! Rome, do you like your Zuma? Do you like Zuma? Are you having great fun? Barney? What have we got in here for you? Do you like your toy? Oh, I can't see. You keep changing and don't tell me. <laughs> I'm just sitting there waiting for Oliver. And, and I'm going back there to, in a second. You're already on to Barney. I'm going back there in a second. <laughs> I'm just trying to give him something. <laughs> Oliver's just made himself a cup holder out of Barney's um, wrapping. That's very clever. That's so clever. You can see Barney in the background loving his toy. It's been a bit of a pain this morning, just running around being hyper. So, um, calm him down a bit. Oliver done that all by himself. Thought that's very clever. You can just see what I mean. Like this bike can't stay there. It's too big for that area. This mat can't stay there. These two boxes are just toys Oliver's brought in, so they're not there anyway. But it's just too crowded. So the goal for today is to sort out his toys, what's going where. I need to put washing on, I need to sort the recycling out because things just more or less, <laughs> all the cardboard basically just got thrown in the porch because it's opening things and you're trying to keep things clear. So you've got like a bag with the paper and so I need to sort all the recycling out, go through all the recycling bins and bags and put them in the right bit. So I need to sort that out, I need to put washing on. So we'll see how far we get. But yeah, I just wanted to jump on and say sorry for not really being around much the last few days. I'm missing a couple of uploads. Um, but yeah, I was just in a weird headspace. But all the decorations are down now. Like I said, we had to make room for Oliver's toys. So it, I just couldn't clear my head when I couldn't see the floor. <laughs> you know? So... Um, and just saw Oliver's room out. I sorted out a bit yesterday. 
but he's also got some empty drawer spaces now, so I need to figure out what's gonna go in his drawers. I'm thinking puzzles in his drawers. I've taken some cars upstairs, um, left his Paw Patrol ones down here. Um, well, I've left his original Paw Patrol and the Dino Rescue ones down here. The other ones, like the racing ones and the Mighty Pups are upstairs. Um, so, yeah, I just need to figure all this out. But first, before I do anything, <laughs> I'm going to have my toffee nut latte because, you know, like I said before, I'm a Starbucks girl and this is the drink of dreams. <laughs> I only wish they would do more soya versions. I mean, I don't actually think I've seen a soy version in Dolce Gusto. But I much prefer soy milk and I am doing veganary, which I'm so excited about. I've done it a few times before. Um, in 2016, I did veganary. Loved it, loved how healthy I felt, how good I felt. So I stayed vegan until about the middle of 2017, I believe. But that was just because the situation I was in, it was just easier to be vegetarian. But I mean, I've been vegetarian since I was 12. I started eating meat beginning of December because like I said, Oliver's not a good eater. He's really not a good eater. So I thought, instead of restricting him to just vegetarian, if I give him like every bit of food that's available, he'll find something to eat, but he's just not interested in it. And meat just doesn't agree with me. I mean, yes, it's delicious, but I've gone to bed more or less every night just feeling sick. <laughs> so I'm saying, you know, it's it's not worth it for me. I love being vegetarian. Um, like I said, I was doing it more for Oliver. And like I said, I just loved being vegan. I loved how healthy I was. I mean, I ate so many lentils and pulses and... I was getting more protein in the time I was vegan than I have my whole life. And all my vitamins, like I was eating loads of salads, loads of vegetables. I was just so healthy and my energy was up. I always felt good. I didn't feel bloated. And since going back to vegetarian, I've just slipped back into really unhealthy habits, especially throughout December. So I thought I'm gonna have a detox, even if it's just vegan area and then I go to vegetarian that's fine but i just want a month of having a pure cleanse just eating pure food so that's the goal like i said i do prefer soy milk anyway i mean a lot of vegan food i do prefer i prefer the vegan cheese i prefer soy milk i don't really like milk i don't like eggs anymore i completely went off them um and just the vegan food i just prefer it. i prefer the taste i so, you know, I said I went back to vegetarian, but I was still probably mainly eating a 70, 80% vegan diet. But, like I said, these coffees, I can only find normal milk. So, I'll just have to use the Americanos through January, which is fine, you know. Just means I get to use these up. Mmm. I love a toffee nut latte. Like I said, I knew it was soya, but never mind. So I'm going to stop rambling and boring you, and I'm going to show you Christmas Day and how that went. It's just a few clips of Oliver when he first came down. He came down the stairs, he just started dancing. He was so excited. He didn't really know why or what was going on, but he knew probably from the mood in the air that something exciting was happening. And I filmed him opening his first present from Santa. That's more or less it. I did film him opening up all the presents for my family. But that I don't want to bore you too much with just present opening. I mean, I did put that into a video, but that's private for me. Just so I can look back on in future years. So um, I won't make that public because I think it would probably be a bit of a boring video. Um, but yeah. I hope you like it. So to you, this may look like I haven't got far, but I promise you I have. <laughs> so like I said before, these two boxes 
go in the dining room. They're just there because Oliver's playing for them. He's getting his Paw Patrol cars out. I've just put them away in there quickly. Um, this and this, Oliver's, a, Oliver's? <laughs> Oliver is playing with, and they're going in the dining room. This lookout tower goes over there. So in this area is basically clear now. This train, um, my sister let him borrow, I suppose you could say. This belonged to her children when they were babies and she let Oliver have it until he's done with it, then we're gonna give it back and then the idea is that her grandkids then they're old enough will play with it and you know, it's a lovely idea. So all the kids in the family have kind of played with it. Which I think is such a lovely idea. So this probably isn't gonna stay here, but for the minute I just can't think of anywhere else for it to go. So that's going there. This drum goes on a set that's in the dining room. This police car, I got him this for Christmas. Um so he puts his foot down on this button and it goes forward, this is a button, it goes backwards. He hasn't quite figured out how to do it yet, but he loves sitting on it and going vroom vroom. So, again, at the minute, this probably isn't going to stay here, but I haven't really found a home for it yet. In the summer, it might live in the shed. We've got a hole in our shed, so I can't put it out there yet. And there's no room in the porch because of his buggy. So, for now, that's there. That's so kind of that done. These are food we're slowly getting through, so we're just kind of leaving them here. So we can pick at it as we go, <laughs> as you do. Um, these two, oh, it's falling over. These toys are on here. I'm not sure what to do with. He doesn't really watch CBBS at the minute, but he still kind of does. So I don't want to get rid of like his Bing and his Teletubbies and things for him to suddenly want them. So all of these sort of things, I'm not sure what to do with. Emma Wiggle, she's under everything here. She's gonna stay down here. Um, um, Barney, no darling. That's there. This is what the drum goes on, it's over there. I've cleared the table. This had loads on it. It's still got the linky on candidate that I need to find a home for. These two bits I need to still bring up to his room but as you can see well it doesn't look on camera but this is a lot clearer than it was so he got this Henry for my mum for Christmas um well it's not Henry he's got a Dyson Hoover which is the same as my Hoover but he's got this he loves cleaning he loves copying cleaning so it's got like a mop a broom a dustpan um a little mop bucket thing. Again, we're not 100% sure where this is going. <laughs> For the minute, it's just there. He's shopping trolley with his food. That's probably going to stay there. But this mat, again, I'm not sure what to do with. He, I did. Barney! Sorry, trolley, Oliver's what's it? Um, yeah, this, I did kind of want a Paw Patrol section. I might lay this out in his room. And then have some of his, I've put all of his little Paw Patrol things in here. So like from the Elf at Christmas, every day I would leave him something. It would be all these true metal things or these that uh, open or um, they'll come like little dinosaurs. So I might lay this in his room. Not 100% sure yet, but for now. And then he's got some bits there. He's got two empty ones here. This was empty. I don't know what to do with his like bowling pins. Um, so again, I'll just put them there. Um, his random little bits and bobs I've just put in here. So these are just like, random little bits. There's noisy things here. So from my aunt, he got the... Um, Pup pad, and for my sister who got the steering wheel, and just loads of other noisy bits in there. He's got some musical instruments there. These are where those two Paw Patrol boxes go. Um, that ball doesn't have them. 
He's got his tea set there and just these bits there. So that looks a lot less cluttered than it was. These I've put up here and I've sorted these. So I've put some of his, uh, again, bigger noisy learning toys in here. Oh, oh, he's got all of his like figures in here, like Moon and Me, and he's got loads. He's got some stickle bricks there. And again, some like puzzle bits in the bottom drawer. This is his arts and crafts box. So a lot of this he got for Christmas. Well, all of this other than the Lego. So I need to find where to put them. These are the busy books that I was kept talking about. quite a few colouring books so they're all in here and I just need to give this all a really good sort out I mean now this table's clear we're going to do like arts and crafts on here so um, get some like colouring and get loads of pens out or some paint or like play-doh or this is all for I mean, we're going to have something on here at some point. <laughs> oh, I always watch it's on the table. That's really sweet, Oliver. So if you remember, his table was there. We moved it there. So this is kind of how we're looking at the minute. He's got his, I'll put his new new there. It's a shape sorter. And I can pull a long thing and it plays music and has noisy bits. And... So yeah. Yeah, but the problem is because of Oliver's toys, a lot of them are just big. As you can see, they're all big things, so it's hard trying to find homes for them. I mean, I've got these little things, and then these aren't really full. I've just got some animals and the Moon and Me house, and then a remote control car. But again, they can fit more in it, but I just don't know what. But that's how we're looking down here i've also done some i've sorted out the recycling that bin's coming tomorrow i think i hope but all our bins are full our black bins are full our green bins and the, they gave us two extra bags but where cardboard boxes that toys come in is so big it's just oh it's it's tough but and the black bin's full and we've still got another week to go with that so I don't know how that's gonna go. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've done that. I've done a load of washing. I need to wash up. That is my next task. Um, Oliver's had his nap, so I think I'm more or less sorted. It's just like all of these sort of things. I just don't know where to put them. There's no room in Oliver's room. And there's no room down here, really. And he's got all the Moon and Me characters upstairs. He's got Dougie. He's got... What else has he got? He's got a giant Peppy Nana. I'll say giant. It's probably about the size of Bing. Oh, bye, Bing. That talks. And, um... Um... It says phrases, sings a song. So I don't want to get rid of them because, you know, kids go through phases, don't they? One minute they love something, then they don't, then they love it again, then they don't. Barney, stop licking all of his hands. He's trying to lick the warts off his hands. Um, so, yeah, I don't really want to get rid of them, but I'm just not sure where to put them. Never mind, darling. Never mind, you'd finish them. He's <laughs> finished his what's it, so now he's upset. I better go find him something else. And this is a quick overview of Oliver's room. So, this all needs tidying up. For Christmas, he got these bath bombs. So, um, I'll probably use one tonight actually. Um, and then put the others 
somewhere for like a special or oh, actually I might use one New Year's Eve to like go to New Year's Day all nice and and everything this probably shown you before it the musical instruments came in this and I've been wanting to turn it into something but I don't know what so if anyone's got any ideas like he's got a Santa tray for the Easter Bunny he's got an Easter Bunny tray so I'm not quite sure so if anyone's got any ideas let me know and then these were knitted for him when he was a baby so these need to go in his memory box and in here I just keep nappies and things. These books my dad gave me and they're just very old. So as you can see they're kind of just falling apart. So I mean the date on there is 1947. So these are just in here just to keep them safe and out of the way. In the top drawer I put his play clothes. This actually I still need to give back to my friend. She lent it to Oliver. Oliver spilt something all over him when I was around there just before the first lockdown. So she very kindly let me borrow this and I just haven't seen her since to give it back but if you're watching you know I do still have it. <laughs> I will get this back to you at some point I promise. Um, in here I've just put all of his puzzles. So all of this stuff was in here, and in here was his pyjamas, and in here was bedding. But I've just put some just kind of noisy bits in there. Um, I got this for Christmas, so that's just there. In his toy box, I've just, he's got loads of cars and just toys. And then in his wardrobe, I cleared this shelf. I mean, he's got his fan for the summer. Um, because when it gets hot. So I had like all the nappies down there, but nappies up there now. Um so the toys can go here and then I put his bedding up here. I mean I'm short so I couldn't really reach. But <laughs> I'll put that back up there as soon as I can get some steps. And then his new dressing gown and that's on there. He got this for Christmas. So um, that's just it. I might put that on top of his toy box. But he does actually, every time he comes upstairs, he plays with this. So he loves that. And then and here are all the cuddly toys that I said I don't know what to do with. So these Pooh Bear characters, he plays with these a lot. He's always picking them up, especially Rabbit. He keeps trying to tuck Rabbit into bed. And he feeds Rabbit his water or his milk or... So he does play with them a lot. Listen, and I've got all his Mickey, Mickey and friends are under his bed. Because I've got stuff there, they won't fit under there. This I need to tidy up. Um, he doesn't really like a lot on his bed. So that's kind of right. So I just don't know what to do with these. So for now they're there, this box, I'm sorting my room out. So the next few weeks I'm actually going to be sorting my room out because I said in another video, it's embarrassing, like, looking at my room, I mean, oh, since my middle 20s it's been the same and now I'm 32 and I'm like, it needs updating, like, <laughs> I am not that 20 year old anymore. So... That's the next task. All my ornaments and my glass cabinet are going to go into storage. So I need these boxes for that. I need to get some bubble wrap. We brought, or my mum brought some to trap all the Christmas ornaments in, but she's lost it. So when we find it, I'm stealing that off her. <laughs> so she said I could have it. And I'm taking that. So, um... I can start wrapping, I've got two plastic boxes, take my glass cabinets down, move my bed around, I'm going to paint the walls, no idea what colour yet, but I'm thinking like a grey or maybe, oh, it looks blue, let me just try and, there you go, it's, it's sort of a grey purpley colour Oliver's, and I don't want that colour, but something 
grey with a slight undertone maybe? I'm really not sure. So, I want to do that. I want to get a desk. I've got this Ikea desk in my head that I'm getting. So, um, going to do that. Going to get rid of my DVD shelf because I don't watch DVDs. All those DVDs are mainly Disney. I've got Disney Plus. So, I don't need them. My sister said she wants some. So, I'm going to give them to her. The rest, I'll probably... Um, Music Magpie, is it? It's one of those, I'll probably send them to. My bookshelf I'm going to get rid of. Um, and then just on my books up, because I've got the Twilight books. I'm never going to read Twilight again. I loved it, absolutely obsessed with it when it came out. But I'm just never going to read them again. So, yeah, they can go. My signed books um, that are... <laughs> From McFly or Giovanna Fletcher or Izzy Judd. Um, basically, anyone in the McFly circle that writes a book, I order the signed copy or I go to the sign in and get it signed. <laughs> Even Oliver. Where is it? Which one is it? Um, we went to the Christmas Saurus and the Winter Witch sign in. I think this one, the dragon in your book and the monster in your book. They said you can only get one signed. Well, I've gone to a few Tom Fletcher sign-ins and he's always let me sign two. So, um, to Oliver with love, Tom. <laughs> so I got this one, so Christmas Story and the Winter Witch signed and this, and then my mum always comes with me because she's a huge Tom Fletcher fan. She got her Christmas source in The Winter Witch and um, The Monster in Your Book, signed for Oliver. So, whereas the signings before Oliver, I used to just take one of my other books and be like, hey, can you sign this? So, yeah, I've got quite a few books signed by Tom. But, um, we didn't have it any other way. <laughs> So yeah, they are probably gonna go. I've got shelves with ornaments. I think he missed me. I've got shelves with ornaments. Oliver's still downstairs, not caring. <laughs> um, so those are probably gonna go up into storage. And um, I might just put my special books up on there or something, I don't know. I need to have a good think, but <laughs> anyone else's dog just bury their head. I'm not so much a huge fan of the tongue, but <laughs> he is sweet. Oh, I think this is his way of telling me, please let me out, I need the toilet. Well, I need to get him. You shouldn't actually be on Oliver's bed, should you? You've never been allowed on there. Anyone love cockers when they have this bit of hair? <laughs> I can actually put it in a ponytail, which amuses me greatly. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to end this video here. Sorry if it's been a really weird random one, but I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I've been organising all of his toys. I will do a full update once I've actually got everything properly placed. Like I said, I'm sorry for missing a couple of uploads, but my head has just needed that time. So thank you so much for bearing with me. Really hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button if you enjoy my videos. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.